हेलो बच्चों वेलकम टू एस पी एस वर्सिटी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन स्टार्टिंग विथ टू किंगडम थ्री किंगडम फोर किंगडम एंड फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन प्रपोज बाय वी टेक एंड इन दैट वी स्टडीड अबाउट मोनेरा हमें मोनेरा के बारे में पढ़ाए मोनेरा में और की बैक्टीरिया यू बैक्टीरिया पढ़ाए और उसके कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ और की बैक्टीरिया यू बैक्टीरिया न्यूट्रिशन इन न्यूट्रिशन वी स्टडीड अबाउट द ऑटोट्रोपिक एंड हेट्रोट्रोपिक न्यूट्रिशन हमें अभी पढ़ाएंगे द नेक्स्ट किंगडम के बारे में सो द नेक्स्ट किंगडम इज प्रोटिस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन सो द मेंबर्स ऑफ प्रोटिस्ट और मेजरली यू एक्वाटिक दे लिव इन वॉटर and all or any cellular eukaryotic organisms so all unicellular eukaryotic organisms are kept under protista are kept under protista so in this protista it includes the various subgroups like chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans okay so pehle hum discuss karenge chrysophytes ke bare mein so chrysophytes me डायटम्स और गोल्डन ऑलगे रहता हूं सो डायटम्स गोल्डन ऑलगे डेस्मस ये क्राइसोफाइट्स मेजरली एक्वाटिक दे आर फाउंड इन फ्रेश वॉटर एज वेल एज मराइन वॉटर दे आर माइक्रोस्कोपिक सो माइक्रोस्कोपिक मीन्स विच कैन बी सीन अंडर माइक्रोस्कोप ओनली and when you come to the nutrition of these chrysophytes it is photosynthetic they are autotrophic in nutrition so they will prepare their own food material by photosynthesis so in this the cell walls are overlapping like the shells the cell wall or shells with overlapping shells like a so box so how you keep a close so box how the two parts of so box will be there like this the shells will be overlapping and the cell walls are made up of silica so the cell wall is made up of silica so this diatom is a thick accumulation of large amount of cell wall so deposits are found in their habitat so this diatom is had is used in various commercial purposes like polishing filtration of oils syrups okay and diatoms are the chief producers of the oceans so they are the chief producers of oceans so they are photosynthetic mostly fresh water and as well as marine water the cell wall has silica due to this they are used in commercial purpose like polishing filtration and syrups and next we'll discuss about dinoflagellates so these dinoflagellates are mostly marine and photosynthetic okay. so these dinoflagellates will be in different colors 
like yellow, green, brown, depending upon the pigments present in their cells. They have different pigments which give different colors. The cell wall is made up of cellulose plates. And the name itself says dino. They have two flagella. So one is longitudinal. So one is one flagella is longitudinal. And one flagella is transversely. And often few dinoflagellates are red in color, like the red tide, which in Goenelex. So the red tide in the Red Sea is due to the rapid multiplication of Goenelex, so which looks like a sea appear red. That's why it is called Red Sea. The Red Sea is not the color of the sea. It is not color of the water. It is due to this dinoflagellate Goenelex. Due to rapid multiplication of Goenelex, the red it looks like a Red Sea. And the next is euglenoids. So which are fresh water and they are found in stagnant water like ponds, lakes, etc. So stagnant water means they are found in ponds, lakes, ditches like this, which where there is stagnant water. Okay. So the cell wall is that is it is made up of a protein rich layer pellicle. They also have two flagella, which is one is short and one is long. And they are generally photosynthetic. Okay. So when sunlight availability is there, they perform photosynthesis. Okay. But when there is no sunlight, they perform heterotrophic nutrition. And here in equinoids, whatever the pigment is present, like chlorophyll, which is similar to higher plants. So, which is similar to higher plants. Okay. The best example for this is euglena. Okay. Euglenoids example kya hai? Euglena which shows both autotrophic and as well as heterotrophic nutrition. In the presence of sunlight, it shows autotrophic nutrition. In the absence of sunlight, it shows heterotrophic nutrition. So here it shows mixed type of nutrition. Where there is autotrophic as well as heterotrophic nutrition. The example is Euglena, which is covered by a pellicle, which has two flagellae. Euglenoids also have two flagellae, which is one is short, one is long. And the next is slime molds, which are saprophytic protists. So they play important role in decomposition. So they will decay the twigs, leaves and engulf organic matter. So in slime molds, the life cycle of slime molds has a stage called plasmodium. So plasmodium is an aggregation during suitable conditions. So which will spread during favorable conditions, it will spread to several fish. That is here you can see the plasmodium which is spreading to long distances. During unfavorable conditions, the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies. So inside fruiting bodies spores are present, that is the fruiting bodies have spores. 
The spores are dispersed by air and when they fall on the soil, they will germinate. So when they fall on the soil, they will germinate. Okay. So slime molds are, are the only saprophytic proteins. Okay. Whereas when you come to chrysophytes, they are photosynthetic. Dinoflagellates, they are photosynthetic. Iglinoids, they show both type of nutrition, that is autotrophic as well as heterotrophic nutrition. So this slime molds are saprophytic in nutrition. And the last group of protestants is protozoans. So protozoans are heterotrophs which live as a predators or parasites. Okay. And they are believed to be true primitive relatives of animals. And again in protozoans, depending upon their characteristic feature, they are divided into four major groups. So protozoans are again divided into four major groups. The first one is amoeboid protozoans. That is the best example for this is amoeba. So amoeba like organisms which live in fresh water as well as sea water, marine water. So they show holozoic nutrition that is they take the prey with the help of pseudopodia. So amoeba is a unicellular one eukaryotic organization which doesn't have a specific shape. So they form pseudopodia. So during taking of the prey, they will form pseudopodia. So which will help in capturing the prey. And in the same group, that is amoebaid protozoan, there is marine forms, that is ant amoeba, which has silica shells on their surface, which are called ant amoeba, which live as parasites. So, which live as parasites. Okay. So, when you come to this flagellated protozoans, so these flagellated protozoans which bear flagellate, that free living as well as parasite. So they possess flagellate as a locomotory organs, flagellate or elongated structures which help in locomotion. And in this there are many disease causing like trephonosoma. So Trypanosoma brucei, which belongs to flagellated protozoans, which causes sleeping sickness. So Trypanosoma is a parasite which belongs to the okay, flagellated protozoans, which cause sleeping sickness. The previous one is amoeboid protozoans in that ant amoeba is a parasite which is covered by silicone shells. Trephanosoma belongs to flagellated protozoans which is a parasite which causes sleeping sickness. Ciliated protozoans which are aquatic. Okay. The name itself says they have cilia as a locomotive organ. Cilia are short and there are thousands of cilia are present. Okay. They have a gullet that opens outside the cell surface. Okay. So cilia will show a coordinated movement. Okay. They will show a movement of cilia. Rows of cilia causes water laden okay. with foot to be steered into gullet. The best example is paramecium. Okay. And the last one is the sporozoans. The best example is plasmodium, which causes 
malaria so plasmodium is a parasite which causes malaria in human beings It required two hosts, the uh, humans and as well as female Anopheles mosquito. So to complete the life cycle of Plasmodium, it requires two hosts. The primary host is humans, in which it completes a sexual cycle. And female Anopheles mosquito, which will complete its sexual cycle. So plasmodium belongs to sporozoans. So here if we come to this, the four groups of the protozoans. The first one is amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans and sporozoans. Here, the examples for amoeboid protozoans is amoeba, or ant amoeba. Flagellated protozoans may be an important example is called trypanosoma, which will close sleeping sickness. Ciliated protozoans example hai ki paramecium. Sporozoans ke example plasmodium. Remember this plasmodium? A plasmodium both important a epic parasite hai, which causes malaria. A plasmodium life cycle के लिए दो host है ये पहला host human और दूसरा host क्या है कि female anopheles mosquito A female anopheles mosquito में sexual cycle complete होता है और humans में asexual cycle complete करता है ये sporozoans का example है okay. So this is a that is a plasmodium which will cause infections that is malaria in human beings which will affect liver red blood cells okay. uh, next kingdom can keep fungi so monera protista or third kingdom fungi we will be studying fungi ke bare the most important characteristic of fungi is their heterotrophic organisms in this there are both unicellular and multicellular forms unicellular bole to uske example le sakte hain hum yeast yeast is a unicellular fungi Yeast is in a cellular fungi. A fungi may, the plant body of fungi may hyphae. So hyphae are long, slender, thread like structures. Okay. A network of hyphae ko mycelium. Uska naam kya hai ki mycelium. So mycelium may be kya rata hyphae. Hyphae bolete thread like structures. E hyphae me do types rito. Hyphae me kuch hyphae me continuous rito. Chub like this, continuous chub like this rito. Which are having multi nucleate cytoplasm, many nuclei are present. So, this is what we call the Sinocytic Hyphae. This means septa nireta, no septa. And Dusra Hyphae, which are any nucleate which have septa. A septa ko cross wall bhi ke sekte. So, ye any cellular septa with septa. So, hyphae me do types reta. Ek type ka septa without septa, dusra type with septa. So, septa ko cross walls bolte hai. 
और ये सेल वॉल ऑफ फंगाई इज मेड अप ऑफ काइटिन मेजरली काइटिन एंड पॉलीसैकराइड्स सो पॉलीसैकराइड्स मींस द कॉम्प्लेक्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स So polysaccharides means complex carbohydrates. This is majorly cell wall me chitin raheta. Or fungi ke nutrition me karay to, this me heterotrophic nutrition raheta. This me saprophytes, parasites, symbionts raheta. Parasites which cause diseases. Saprophytes which decompose. और इसमें symbionts में बारे में है तो इसके examples दो ले सकते हैं एक के एक ही lichens और दूसरा एक ही mycorrhiza. Lichens में partners algae fungi रहता हूँ और mycorrhiza में partners fungi और higher plants roots of higher plants रहता हूँ. So both get benefited. So in lichens, both algae and fungi get benefited. In mycorrhizae, both fungi and roots of higher plants get benefited. Next, when you come to reproduction by vegetative means, that is, it shows vegetative, asexual, and sexual reproduction. So vegetative me kya take you vegetative me fragmentation, fission and budding. Asexual reproduction me conidia. The best example for conidia is pencilium. The fungi pencilium will reproduce by conidia. Sporangiophore spores, rhizopus is the example for this. So example for sporangiospores is rhizopus. Quiridia example pencilium. Sexual reproduction. Ne sexual reproduction me aaye to spores, ascospores, basidiospores. Okay. A sexual cycle me three steps reta. Pehla step ye ki plasmogamy. सेकेंड स्टेप कैरियोगामी और तीसरा स्टेप मीओसिस गैमी मींस फ्यूजन फ्यूजन ऑफ प्रोटोप्लाज्म इनिशियली फ्यूजन ऑफ प्रोटोप्लाज्म टेक्स प्लेस इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि प्लास्मोगामी कैरियोगामी मींस फ्यूजन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर आफ्टर फ्यूजन ऑफ प्रोटोप्लाज्म न्यूक्लियर फ्यूज होते बाद में फ्यूज होने के बाद Meiosis, cell division meiosis takes place in zygote, which results in haploid spores. So in meiosis, the diploid structures are converted to haploid structures. That is, zygote which is diploid on meiosis, it will form haploid spores. So when they fall on the soil, they will germinate and form again the new mycelium. Okay. In some fungi like Ascomycetes and Basidiomycetes, there is a transient stage that is dicaryotic stage, where in each cell there are two nuclei. There are in each cell there are two nuclei. Just after fuse, that is, you can see in a cell there are two nuclei. That is N plus N, which is called dicaryon, which is specifically seen in Ascomycetes or Basidiomycetes. So here you can look into the life cycle of that is the sexual reproduction of the fungi. So the first stage is the plasmogamy, the minus and the plus mating type. These are hyphen. Plasmogamy, dicaryotic, that is dicaryon. After that, karyogamy. Okay. 
After karyogamy, meiosis takes place, which forms spores, the BCD or basidium spores. Okay. So basidium, which has four haploid nuclei, which will form basidium spores, which are dispersed by wind and they will germinate. And again, they will form haploid mycelium. So this is a life cycle of an organism which belongs to Basidiomycetes. So it belongs to class of fungi that is Basidiomycetes. Okay. So in fungi there are different classes like Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Deuteromycetes, Basidiomycetes and Deuteromycetes. Phyco means algae-like fungi. So they are majorly found in aquatic habitat and on decaying the wood in moist and damp places. Okay. So the mycelium in phycomycetes is aseptic and sinocytic. It is continuous tube-like without cross walls. So asexual reproduction is by juice spores and aplanospores. Okay. So zygospore, here it is called zygospore, which is formed by fusion of two gametes. The example for this is mucus, rhizopus, albuco. So phycomycetes are algae like fungi which are aseptic sinocytic mycelium. Ascomycetes, the sac-like fungi, they are called the sac fungi. Okay, they are saprophytic as well as there are some parasitic and coprophilus which grow on the dung. So mostly they are multicellular and very rarely in cellular are they. So the mycelium is branched and septate. Septate means cross walls are present. There are any nucleate and their cross walls are present. So the asexual spores by conidia. Okay. Sexual reproduction is a, the, the spores which are formed by sexual reproduction. They are called ascospores which are haploid. And they are formed inside the fruiting body. The fruiting body of Ascomycetes is called Ascocorp. The fruiting body is called Ascocorp. The example, Neurospora, Aspergillus, Claviceps, Pencilium. So these all belong to the Ascomycetes. And even the morals of ascomycetes, which are edible, they can be eaten. So ascomycetes, the fruiting body is called ascocorp, and the spores which are produced inside ascocorp, they are called ascospores. And the next class is basidiomycetes, that is the club fungi, which are decomposers as well as parasites. In plants, they cause diseases like rust, rust of wheat, smuts. These are diseases which are caused in plants. So the mycelium is branched and septic. So vestigial reproduction by fragmentation. Okay, here there is no asexual spores. And here you can see sexual reproduction is by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells. And the fruiting body is called basidiocorp. And basidiospores are produced in basidium, in basidiocorp. So the fruiting body is called basidiocorp and the spores are called basidiospores. The example for this is Agaricus ustilago paxinio. Agaricus, which is commonly called mushrooms. 
so mushrooms belong to basidiomycetes which is called the club fungi so which is called club fungi and the next is deuteromycetes the imperfecti the fungi imperfecti why it is called imperfecta why because in this there is no sexual phase only asexual phase only vestigial and asexual phase is known as there is no sexual phase it is called fungi imperfecti so mycelium is septate and branched okay so the members are saprophytes or parasites reproduce only by asexual spores the examples for this is alternaria trichoderma and colletotrichum so in fungi there are four classes phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes phycomycetes algae like fungi ascomycetes the sac fungi basidiomycetes the club fungi and deuteromycetes the fungi imperfecta this is about the kingdom fungi so kingdom fungi hone ke baad hum discuss karenge kingdom plantae where all plants are involved in this all plants are kept under this plantae so plantae which has eukaryotic chlorophyll bearing organisms and a very few members almost all the members are photosynthetic which will perform autonotrophic nutrition very few are parasitic and there are partially parasitic also like if you take insectivorous plants like bladderwort venus flytrap so this is what you are seeing this is insectivorous plant it will it is a partially a heterotrophic organisms here they will perform photosynthesis but at the same time as they live in nitrogen deficient soil as they live in nitrogen deficient soil they depend on insects for their source of nitrogen so that's why they are called insectivorous plants like pitcher plant nepenthes bladderwort venus flytrap okay parasites mein isme rehta hai ki cascuta which is a complete parasite on other plants a life cycle of plants me do stages rehta diploid stage usko kya bolte hai ki sporophytic haploid stage usko gametophytic which will come alternately which is called alternation of generation so which is called alternation of generation so alternation of generation means in the life cycle of plants you can see that is the sporophyte and the gametophyte will come alternately depending upon the species that is which includes algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and geosperms okay next kingdom baad mein plantae ki baad mein next kingdom kya hai ki animalia which are eukaryotic multicellular cell wall is absent there is no cell wall directly only plasma membrane is seen and they are capable of locomotion which show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanism so mode of nutrition is holozoic reserve food material is glycogen or fats whereas in plants it is starch sexual reproduction is by copulation between male and female which later on leads to after 
fusion of gametes which leads to development of embryo. So kingdom animalia which shows where all animals are included under this kingdom animalia. Where they show locomotion as well as they show elaborate sensory neuromotor mechanism. Reserve food material is glycosin and sexual reproduction is by copulation. So, in a class, we have studied protista, ke mein, fungi, plantae, animalia. Protista, we chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, eglinoids, okay. or slime molds. Fungi me four classes: Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Bistriomycetes, or the Dytromycetes. Plantae me algae: the green algae, red algae, brown algae. Bryophytes, Pteridophytes, Gymnosperms, and Angiosperms. Kingdom Animalium: Chordate, non-chordates. Okay. Let's say I mean a a five kingdom classification, the entire living organisms are divided into five kingdoms. That is, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. Okay. So this is about the biological classification of the living, all the living organisms. And the next comes that is virus, which we cannot keep in living organisms and which can, cannot keep in non living. It is in the board row living and non living. When it is inside the host, it shows living characteristics. When it is outside, it shows non living. So Louis Pasteur named them as virus. So Louis Pasteur named them as named virus that has poisonous flu. Ivan Isky recognized that microbes like they cause tobacco mosaic disease that is tobacco mosaic virus which is called tobacco mosaic virus. Bezrenik extracted the infected plants of tobacco and he named them as Contasium vivum fluid. Besnik called them as Contasium vibrum. Stanley crystallized the virus which consists of largely of proteins. So viruses which we cannot keep them completely in living as well as in non-living. When they are outside the host that is they show they are, can be crystallized. When they are inside they show living for and viruses or obligate parasites. They don't have any cellular organization, but how they will reproduce? When they enter into the cell, they take over the missionary, the infrastructure of the cell and replicate themselves. So fir virus me kya rehta? Virus me genetic material rehta or proteins, DNA or RNA or proteins. Which viruses me single stranded or near it though. which viruses may double stranded or double stranded you need it for example if you take bacterial pages which will infect bacteria they have double stranded DNA. and viruses cause many diseases like common cold which is caused by rhinovirus influenza AIDS, which is caused by HIV, smallpox in humans, leaf rolling and curling in plants. So viruses are obligate parasites which cause many diseases. So here if you take viruses, the protein coat present in virus, it is called capsid. And the smaller subunits are called capsomia. This entire one is called capsid. Each unit is called capsomia. The subunits of capsid is called capsomia. 
and here if we look into this the capsomeres are arranged in helical or polyhedral arrangement so what you are seeing in this picture it is tobacco mosaic virus which has single stranded rna so which has single stranded rna and protein the protein coat is called capsid which has sub units capsomeres so what you are seeing in the picture b it is a bacteriophage that is t2 t4 bacteriophage which will infect bacteria so which will infect bacteria okay so isme hum dekh sakte hai ki isme it has head neck and tail inside the head there is a double stranded dna so there is a double stranded dna these are tile fibers to which it will attach to the host this is collar sheath so it is a bacteriophage which will attack bacteria okay and in viruses there are again there are subtypes like viroids which are discovered by diner okay these are smaller than virus they have only genetic material they don't have protein they lack protein coat they have only genetic material free or any so this is called is isle isko kya bolte ki viroid their molecular weight is less than the viruses these are viroids and the next is lichens which is a symbiotic association of algae and fungi the algal partner is called phycobion and the fungal partner is called mycobion and there is an importance of lichens they are good indicators of pollution why because they don't grow in polluted areas अभी तक हमें पढ़े बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन के बारे में थैंक यू ऑल फॉलोअर्स ऑन एस पी एस वर्सिटी विल मीट अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन